Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools quick tip, I'll show you two key commands. The first will allow you to show or hide all of your floating windows. And the second will allow you to switch between your edit and mix window. And remember to follow Wing Sound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with the latest releases from Wing Sound Studio. Okay, so let's say you have a session with a lot of floating windows, you know, with a lot of information going on. Sometimes you might want to get rid of these things so you can have just like a clean look to your session so you could see the audio or the MIDI or whatever it is. You might want to get rid of these. And instead of, you know, closing them out one by one, you could use this quick key command. So all you have to do is on a Mac hit Control Option Command and W. And as you can see, they all went away. And then I could use the same key command, Control Option Command W, to bring them all back. So, you know, I could look at what's going on with all these floating windows. And then once I'm done, just hit the key command and then I could get back to a clean looking session. You know, not very confusing. The other key command is to switch between the edit and mix window. Now, this is really cool, you know, because when you're mixing, you could switch back and forth, do some quick edits on your regions and then switch back to the mix window to, you know, check your levels and your plugins and things like that. So what you want to do for that is hit command and the plus and equals button on a Mac. So as you can see, switching between my edit and mix window, very easy. And, you know, it's really quick instead of, you know, using the expose to go and, you know, switch between those windows. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.